I've got plans, I've got plans, and I need to look stunning. Guys, it is my best friend's birthday night out. We're going out for dinner, we are going out for drinks. I want your help picking an outfit because I've got a few. Don't know what to wear, but I just wanted to like practice my makeup because we've got so much newness, okay? One, watermelon dew drops in the bronze. I need to see how that looks under makeup because if it looks fire, then I will be doing it too. What else have we got? Oh, I got some new NARS blushes because my baby pink lovers unite. Yes, they may look the same, but they are different. Behave. Behave. And sex appeal. Such a like light baby pink. But I've seen this girl on TikTok using kind of more like neutral blush tones. You guys know I absolutely like in every tutorial wear a bluey pink, like baby bluey pink blush because I love it. Not today, we're going more neutral. Look at these as well, this is sweet enough. These aren't new purchases, I already had them. I nearly bought them again because I didn't check my own collection and I already had them. And this is a classic, this is MAC Melba. This girl on TikTok, I can't remember her name, but I absolutely love the way she does makeup. Use these and they look gorge. We've also got a Made by Mitchell XL Curve Case, hello. Hello, probably gonna use one of them because that is like literally every color in the dictionary. Rainbow, and we wanna go with that neutral pink theme. Mitchell came out with shimmery bronzers. If you didn't hear what I just said, I said Mitchell just has come out with shimmery bronzers, but they're not like glittery, they're more like baked with a sheen. Just gagging to try them, you guys. So we're gonna go for a very like neutral eye. I'm sorry, neutral eye, but kind of more like cool tone. So I'm going for a different palette today. I'm going for this by So Sue by Suzanne Jackson and probably gonna like lean into the more cooler tones. And I also thought I'd show you guys how I've been doing my lashes recently because I don't really wear strips. I'm really in my individual lash era. But all I can PSA, PSA, pussy, pussy, PSA, warn you for is that we are about to look stunning because that is the dress code for your best friend's birthday is to look stunning. Alex is like, yeah, that's all I want from you is for you to look stunning. So that's the vibes today. Let's jump into it, shall we? So I do really want to try these and see how they work in and under makeup. They are really quite bronze from what I've seen. So I might mix a little bit of strobe cream into them. So let's see on the skin. Oh my God, that looks like really quite thick and bronzed. Ay, 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 ay. Okay, let's add a little bit of MAC strobe. You guys know I love this. And the MAC strobe cream is part of their prep and prime range. So it is great under makeup. <gasps> okay. Oh. <gasps> Oh, mixed together, that's gorge. Oh, love. I may have like put slightly too much on, so let's, let's give our neck a bit of a bronzing. But my hair's in curls. Oh, that's pretty. I got me tan on. I'm just, yeah. It's a Friday night, I'm doing this glam so I can like get the video up for you guys and to practice, but I've got no plans tonight. I'm slaving myself for tomorrow. Oh my God, that feels unreal on my skin. Wow. Wow. And mixed with that stroke cream, I think that alone would actually be really gorgeous alone if I was only going to be wearing that and not foundation on the top. But mixed together with the strobe cream, that feels insane on my skin, wow. Feels good. The glow is glowing. We are going for um, quite an old school foundation today as well. One that I, it's not new as such, but I got a new shade because I love the formula. This is the, you know this, Nars Sheer Glow. Um, I have Stromboli. This is just a little bit too yellow and light for when I'm tanned. And I do plan to be quite bronzed this weekend, ofs. Um, so I got this which is obviously way too dark to wear on its own. Mix it together and we've got something cooking. I'm just trying to think, do I want any more of a primer on? 
not really a primer girly these days because less layers the better in my opinion no let's just go in with foundation let's just get it cracking right let's yeah like i said mixing these two together so this is actually the shade tahoe which is medium dark too it's obviously alone way too much but with stromboli gorgeous and it means that i can actually get some use out of this stromboli when i'm going out because this is like a really gorgeous sorry um foundation formula that I really don't reach for enough and then sometimes i'm like watching let me just get the products out first shall i before i talk sometimes i'm watching people on tiktok and this is what they're wearing and i'm just like oh, it's like medium coverage just the most gorgeous finish. I'm just like, wow. So I wanted to be able to get some use out of it. So I'm thinking, let's mix these two together. Ooh, okay, that's looking yummy. Ah, yum. Oh my god, yum. Yum. Yum, yum, yummy. Oh my god, this is giving yum. Okay, let's buff this into the skin. Oh my gosh, yes. Oh, I wanna be, this, I'm about to say something as if like, I don't wanna do this like every time I go out, but I wanna be a bronzed, glowy princess. But I'm thinking, because I do this lash technique of the individual lashes, I don't think I'm gonna, well, maybe not for this makeup look of just me like practicing, but I don't think I want to do any liner, to be honest. Not even, not even a shadow liner. I know. Who am I? What have you done with Rachel? Why is she wearing cool tones today? I've been influenced, loves. I've been influenced. As much as you guys would probably call me an influencer, I am very easily influenced by other things that I see on TikTok. This may be a very like trust the mo uh, process moment, but I'm thinking actually that color is perfect. Yes, it is darker than my skin tone, but you guys, that is the trick for your makeup. Just looking the best in pictures is to have your base maybe one to two shades darker than your skin tone. And then you go in with the concealer that's slightly lighter etc etc and then it all balances out and i just feel like that is the way to get your makeup to look especially if you're having flash pictures which at your birthdays at your best friend's birthday that is exactly what you'll be doing or actually do you know what sometimes it's not why is it that i have like the least amount of pictures <laughs> with the people i feel like i am closest to it's because whenever we go out, we just get straight into it. Like, let's get the bottle of Prosecco in. No time for the big gaze. Just go on with the sponge. Make sure that this is all not just sat on my skin. Oh my God, I swear. Cat fur will be the death of me. It just gets everywhere and then I can't focus. But how gorgeous. Is that formula finish? It's not too heavy. I swear, I re really fall back in love with products like in every so often. And I feel like tomorrow I will be like bronzing my chest and stuff, but because I'm trying on outfits, I don't wanna put any body tan on when I'm not 100% sure I'm gonna wear it or if I am and then get makeup on it and it's tomorrow. Do you know what I mean? I am worried that I just don't seem to be using any other cream contour, but nothing beats this. Like, it's so good. It's like the perfect cool tone cream contour. It's Patrick Tarr. She's sculpted. And I love using the, the brush that goes with it. It just... Right into my cheekbones. Oh, let's get the fluff off my face. I might actually... What's the word? What's the word where you get the peach fuzz off your face? What is the word? Well, essentially, oh, derma plane. I like derma plane plan, whatever it is, my face this evening, because 
when did it get that fuzzy? And I want it to be perfect. Perfect! But honestly, I just love this product and color. And I'm low key thinking, because I normally put cream bronzer, cream contour like in my crease, I might put this in my crease because I am going for the cooler tone vibes today. And I can like take it down my nose. So realistically, it's what I've got to do. Right, let's make sure I don't cover the camera. I do have a habit of doing that and I can only apologize. Ooh, that's pretty. It's gonna give a good base for the shadows that we put down too, but it's nothing too crazy. I'll just take this down my nose as well. As you should do that with contour anyway. And then up into the crease and kind of all over, and that's gonna act as our cooler tone base. Already, I'm kind of living for it. Okay. Again, with the concealer, I think I'm just gonna go for classic Hourglass Beach. So not my Sienna shade and not my super light cotton shade. This is my favorite, just like in the middle shade. It's not too, too bright, but when we're working with a slightly darker foundation, it does what needs to be done. Don't really see like a lot of people using this color and I literally think it's the like most perfect shade. In all the usual spots, love. Just use my brush to get like a little bit more precise. And we're gonna take a sponge because these products are quite like, well, this concealer is quite like matte and full coverage and quite drying. So find the sponge to be the best in terms of still shearing it out, still feeling hydrated and it not like super heavy underneath the eye. But you see, it just, it does the brightening, but nothing super scary. Also the powder that we use is a really brightening powder. I have actually just ordered the Made by Mitchell brightening powders because they look fire and I really want to try them. Should have ordered them yesterday and then I could have used them today, but we move. Do the, the forward. I'm, I'm not like a massive fan of that like line being there. So I am just gonna diffuse it slightly with my beauty sponge. Clomana sponges, they're the best. They're just so big and soft. Also, you guys, while I was getting ready and I like did my hair, I felt like I did it really quickly. I was like, oh my God, I've just curled my hair so quick. I completely forgot about this whole ponytail of hair. I'm dead. So <laughs> I'll have to do that in a minute. But now we can move on to the cream blusher. Ugh! So we are going for a more neutral blush shade. So I'm thinking like, these, like this one or this one. This one might be a little bit too light. I've yet to try this one. So let's try that one, shall we? Do we know what that shade actually is? I think it's my darling. <gasps> oh my gosh. I love that color, right. Oh my God, amazing. Let's go in with my darling then. Oh. This might be looking slightly pinker because I'm not using a completely clean brush. Let's actually, let's use a cleaner brush. Oh no, it still is that pink. Oh, okay, it comes out a little bit pinker than I thought, but that's fine. Cause I do find when I go in with my powder and things like that, it does tend to be neutralized anyway. But this Curve Case formula is my fave. I love a like balmy blush. I feel like these actually look way better when you kind of use them over the top of powder. Like, you know, that like Patrick Tarr technique that he does, but because I want to really see the impact from these like powder blushes, I'm just, I'm gonna set this one with powder, but I did just want like a little base. But honestly guys, it's gorge. That 
especially if you were a makeup artist, would be perfect for travel and just making sure that you've got a cream blush for every skin tone and every occasion. But yeah, I've been really using this a lot and I've really been loving it. It's the Be Perfect Cat Kate Daily Powder in the shade Vanilla. It is gorgeous for like brightening under the eye and it's just like a gorgeous finish. I'm just tapping the excess off on my hand. Always using a puff. If we're like going out somewhere and it needs to be set, it just, I find, gives the most airbrush look. Really is effective at actually like setting in place and this formula is super brightening and I feel like it has a little like pearlescent slight finish to it which I actually really like but look how flawless my under eyes look are we fucking joking there's something in the eye get it out no get it out help help oh my god I can't find it actually it's kind of gone Okay, yeah, just make sure that's all pressed and set. And then when it comes to setting the rest of my face, I actually might use this. Under here, and then we can kind of like dust this away. And that just kind of sets the base and sets my forehead in, in enough, like of a way that I'm happy with, because I do quite like still having uh, like dewy vibes forehead okay we are definitely sufficiently set in place now let's do eyeshadow which is probably actually do we do eyeshadow actually let's carry on with the face but i think i'm going to use my contour as eyeshadow as well so this is nars zen and i'm just going to take that all in the crease again a beautiful cool toned powder and then this can come down onto the nose to just kind of reinforce the cream nose contour that we did and just keep it all looking snatched. I was watching the Call Her Daddy Megan Fox podcast episode and it was so funny, like halfway through the interview, Megan realizes that she forgot to do her nose contour and she's so funny, she was just like, no, no, this is terrible because I like to know, contour my nose until I'm just nostrils, like till there's nothing left. And I was like, Megan, that is, that's such a mood. And she's had her nose done, I think as well. So that just goes to show like, we do be contouring our noses. Doesn't matter if we've had surgery or not. We love it. And I'm actually gonna take, I'm actually gonna take that Zen color underneath the eye and just kind of like connect it up. Just so it's all kind of blended seamlessly. And now, like I said, this is actually what we're gonna use as the face contour. I like to multi-use products because subconsciously it will really just keep everything coordinated and coherent. Is that the word? No, isn't that to do with like being able to hear? Um, just cohesive, is that the word? Maybe, anyway, so excited. We are gonna be taking the Made by Mitchell shimmery bronzers. So this is my favorite shade, Cinnamon Girl. Mitch actually sent these to me before they even came out, but before he'd even announced them because I messaged him and said, where are the shimmery bronzers, you know? Like I did a TikTok about it and it got me thinking, where are they? He needs to come out with some. And he said, it is so funny that you say that because they're literally our launch at the end of next week. And he sent them to me to try them out. And guys, they're amazing. They're like the hourglass baked bronzers, but like with more of a sheen, way more colors, and they're just so good. So this is the shade Cinnamon Girl. 
So yeah, so this is me with no shimmery bronzer and I did a TikTok sort of really going into how much of a difference I think it makes, especially when you're doing like event makeup and you want your pictures, you want your makeup to look like amazing in pictures makeup. Shimmery bronzer just takes you there. Oh my God, this cinnamon girl shade is like so subtle. but has that like gold reflex through it. So in my TikTok, I used the, uh, as I do in all my videos, use the MAC Mineralized Skin Finishes. And I did see a lot of you guys being like, my oily skin could never, I just feel like it's too glittery. It just like looked way too much. So maybe you guys will love these because they're totally different formulas. This is like way less intense, but it does the same thing of like giving you that bronzed glow. But yeah, it's way less intense and it's a totally different formula. So if you wanna try shimmery bronzers, this might be the formula for you. I actually might go in a little bit with Caramel Kiss. Just on like a big brush. And just kind of yeah I love using clearly 750 shades of like each product but oh my gosh it's just gorgeous catch me bathing in these all summer long they are stunning now it's time for these neutral blushes which i'm very excited about but then i've also got these two nars ones so obviously they're like a bit they're like really light so i might focus them maybe here if i choose to use them maybe this like movie one behave is like really cute but let's let's use four blushes shall we why the fuck not and let's go in with melba to start with i've had this for so long and like clearly never touched it Oh my gosh. That's pretty. I think the girl was like trying to say that like subtle blush is just so much more of a vibe. I think she was doing like bridal makeup to be fair. That's gorgeous. And I might take my fave blush brush um, and take Sweet Enough, which is more of a mineralized finish formula. And kind of, oh my gosh, dust that kind of over the top. Oh guys, that is stunning. Sweet Enough from MAC. Oh my God, I want that everywhere. <laughs> Wow, wow. Oh my God, I'm starting to think like this suits me way better than like the blue tone blush that I have been loving and I do really love that look, but oh shit, shit. Do we now go in with a bit of this or is this just gonna ruin it? Fuck it, let's just. Okay, new favorite blush shades. That is gorgeous to me. You do need to like keep going with the eyes a little bit and I am gonna go in with this, which I didn't even know existed. Urban Decay came out with, you know, everyone loved um, Space Cowboy. They came out with like other shades, even though I think Space Cowboy will be the like shade that suits this look the best. Let's go ahead and actually, Let's just give the face a spritz. Bring it to life. This is also like a makeup must have when it comes to going out makeup. 
give that a dry. Also, let's go ahead and do, actually, I'm gonna go ahead and do one eye and my brows because I need to just practice the lashes because I can't be sat here doing both eyes with the lashes, it'll take too long. So I'm gonna go ahead and do brows and one eye. But I am trying to get a little bit better with like listing and linking like everything that I use because sometimes I feel like I don't do that and then you guys are always asking anyway. So I'm like, I may as well have just done. I can't sometimes just link the like key products. So I've separated them into sections in my description box for the people that care like skin, eyes, lips, I think I've done just so you guys can really find the products quicker. Um, so yeah, let me just do brows and an eye real quick. Okay, so this is the kind of thing that I do and I just feel like it's completely, I don't know, allowed me to customize the way that I like my lashes to look that I might not get from a strip lash. And sometimes I even go over them with mascara to give that more like lash extension vibe. And the ones that I am using are these from Tati Lashes. They are in the style Tray Chic. I also have these from Ardell, which are like long and slightly smaller clusters. And these are absolutely game changing. I've literally just ordered some more because I don't want them to go. Um, they are the Swede Lashes, but the Nikki Makeup Collab and they are the No Lash Lash. These are all like singular ones. So you can really like customize and get that like wispy look. I might even go back in with a few more of those and like have a little play around after I've like done the eyeshadow. But I accidentally like started doing the eyeshadow on this eye and I was like, Rachel, you're filming. I am mainly using this eyeshadow palette from So Sue and I'm going in with this mocha shade. So it's a slightly like pinkier, warm tone color. I just think that's like really pretty. I'm just making sure that's all buffed in. I'm being like really light with a lot of these. And then I'm also taking Radiant, slightly warmer, but that one's just going all over the lid. Cause at the end of the day, the, the warmer colors do suit me better and I'm more complimentary on my eye, but I still want them to be sort of of a warmish, to uh, coolish tone. But they just look really soft and beautiful together. I just go back in with like different brushes to make sure it's all blended. I am gonna take that radiant color, even though I know we put Zen under the eye, I'm just gonna take that radiant color and just connect that. Make sure it's kind of just all soft and blended. I'm just gonna take a slightly smaller brush and take the shade Temptation, which is this dark brown, very, very lightly we're just gonna buff that into the crease, like the whole crease and drag it up. Like that, like just a little bit. And it's actually really soft on the eye. I know it looks really dark in the pan, like a really dark brown, but if you're really gentle with your hand, you can kind of customize any shade to be as light or as dark as you want just diffuse that but that's kind of it for the eyeshadow and actually i was going to do space cowboy but this color which is cosmic space dust a little bit more like bronzy and like of that silvery gold vibe we're putting that on the lid and it is stunning i just use my finger to do that like how pretty is that just dust any fallout away. But I just think that's beautiful. And like so pretty. And I'm just gonna highlight my inner corner. Going into my classic singular shadows. I'm pretty sure this is MAC Shroom. And I'm just gonna use that to highlight my inner corner. Maybe even like my brow bone. I'm like looking at that brow bone and I'm thinking it needs a little something. But yeah, just taking that, I'm gonna use a bit more of a precise brush. There we go. Like, I just think that's really pretty. Maybe let's give it a little, just a little dusting. Beneath the brow. Ah! I think this is so pretty. It's kind of giving me 
Victoria's Secret. I'm so excited to do the lip as well because I'm gonna have to like link that influencer on TikTok that I'm like taking all of this inspo from because she needs her flowers. Like she, or actually I'll put her out on the screen right now because I'll go and find it. That's literally where I'm getting all of my inspo from is her. And I'll do the screenshot of the makeup as well. Like it was gorgeous. But now it's time for the lashes. So I'm gonna alternate between these two first. I'm gonna start with the long and then go in with a 12 millimeter and then a medium and then a 10 millimeter of this. And then I like to go in with the singular ones and just make them a bit more like flary. And then I think I'm gonna add some mascara afterwards. That is the vibe that we want. That like kind of like fluttery, but like still sexy a little bit you know, vibe, but first of all, oh my gosh, curl the lashes. Guys, they've stopped Lingo at 3 p.m. and they've stopped Tenable and now it is, what's this again? Per winning combination, perfect combination. I do quite like it to be fair. Okay, curl the lash. Let's add a bit of mascara, what's this? This is just YSL. And give these lashes a little something to sit on. Just something light, okay? Right, so like I said, starting with the Ardell. And these tweezers make things so much easier. A little bit of glue. Okay, let's go. That's one. Now we're going into Tatty. Did I use long or did I use the 12? I think it was the 12 I said, didn't I? A little bit of glue. That's two. Back in with the Ardell. You guys, once you get like, kind of quick and confident with it, it's so good. I think, yeah, I did use these. It's so good instead of like faffing over a strip lash, trying to get it to like look a type of way, just create your own. And it's actually a lot easier than you might think. Trust me. Okay, now going in with a 10 millimeter Tati. And that's kind of my foundation of like, just like the base of it all. And it looks like this. And now is when I go in with just any of the random lengths of these singular ones. Like look how small they are, you guys. Can you see that? And I just have a little play. Let's place. Singular one just up in there. That was like one of the long singular ones because you know I like my mixed lengths. Just like randomly Ooh. in there. And then these little ones are so good, especially if you've got any like gaps in your lashes. Just to like subtly Fill them in. I even might go in with like, right where I just put that small. Like, I just love the way that that looks. And obviously I just let them dry for a little bit and then I can clump them, move them around a little bit. Even like add like a little bit of mascara once they're like fully like locked in and I'm not gonna like brush them away. But for me, I'm just loving this. And I also find that these are a little bit better when it comes to removing lashes at the end of the night as well. I just think that this just looks so much like better and a bit more natural. And I, yeah, I just love the way that that looks. So a little tip for you guys, if you are not like vibing with strip lash at the moment, cause yeah, and you just want something a little bit more natural-ish looking, but you still want the lashes to be there. So this is how the makeup is looking and now it is time for lips. So the girl did this really nice, like, cool tone lip. And I'm thinking I'm gonna try and do something very similar. Throwing it back old school. I don't know if this is actually gonna show up too much. So if not, we will go in with Nude Truffle from NYX. But this is Oak from MAC. And I'm gonna, like, do my best to basically line my lips with this and take it quite far in. And the way she specifically lined her lips as well. She was like, you wanna overline the top, but then kind of like bring it down and like not overline your whole lip. 
So that's like what I'm trying to do. But yeah, oak is just, it's kind of like my lip color, which is why I kind of want to take this quite a lot over the lip. Like it's such a beautiful, cool tone, soft lip liner. I'm just kind of color it in like so. I am going to take Nude Truffle just at the top. Like that. And at the bottom. Ooh, and then she goes in with something really light. I'm tossing it up between Creme de Nude from MAC or KKW from Charlotte Tilbury. Let me like swatch them. KKW is very peach and I, but I, when did they like stop doing Flesh Pop from MAC? Cause I tried to find it. Ooh, actually KKW is more pinky. Creme de Nude is more, Creme de Nude is this side, and that's KKW. I think I might do Creme de Nude, because I think it's a little bit more sheer. I know that looks really scary. But again, with lips, I do feel like it's very trust the process. Back in with the lip liner. Oh no, I do love it. But also, she stopped there in her tutorial, but and then in, in another video, I saw that she was wearing a gloss and I'm torn in what gloss to wear because I don't want to really take away from that vibe. So do I go in with Clear from Huda in class, uh, Glassy? This is from Patrick Tarr. I feel like it's meant to be clear. Major volume pumping gloss in Pouty. It looks like it has like a bit of a color to it, which I'm tempted by. Like I'm really tempted by this. Or I have this one from Kiko, which is gonna give like pearly vibes, but it has a little bit of like pinky pearl to it. What do we think? Pinky pearl? Let's go pinky pearl. I feel like you're all saying pinky pearl. <gasps> oh my god, Pinkie Pearl was the right choice. <laughs> oh my god, I'm obsessed. I'm freaking dead over this glam. Like, oh my god, I look gorgeous. No, guys, I am absolutely obsessed with this glam. Are we joking? Oh my god, I'm so excited to do this. To that, I think I'm gonna upload this Saturday morning so I can read the comments throughout the day and you guys can let me know what outfit to wear. So I'm so excited to wear this tonight. By the time that you're watching this, I'll be going out tonight, probably actually doing this glam as we speak. And then you guys will just have to let me know. So now it's time to take this hair out, curl the rest of this. I actually kind of can't be bothered. We'll just see how it looks. Like let's put the hair together, but let's get the outfit together and really see it all come together. I will also be, um, linking all the outfit details as well, but this glam is literally everything. Oh my gosh, the sun has come out, you guys. And I'm a bit nervous because I said I wasn't doing anything tonight, but sometimes when the sun comes out, I need to be out. I'm just hoping that the lighting is okay. Okay, so I did my hair. I haven't actually curled the bit that I left in the ponytail, but I actually don't care. It looks fine. I can still never like perfectly curl my hair. I feel like I've done it really, oh, I don't even know. I don't even know if I'm having my hair like this, but let's just get dressed, shall we? So the options are, I've got a few tops, a few accessories. Look how cute these shoes are from Zara. I don't know if I want to wear them just because I really want them in a size seven. Like these fit, but I think ideally the seven would be best. So I don't want to wear them, ruin them. And then I can't return them, but the size seven is out of stock and has been for the longest time. Okay, everything is very much jeans 
and a nice top and accessory kind of vibes. I got this top from Kai, which I'm kind of been dying to wear. And I got these like heels from Zara that I think will look cute. So let's try this on first. Oh my gosh, this is actually kind of gorge. And I wasn't really expecting it to be. What do we think of this? These jeans are my fave. Excuse the fact that they're like a bit crumpled. It's because they've just been washed. So I'll make them cute for tomorrow. I'm actually thinking, does this look, does this top look better tucked in? Oh, I don't know. Maybe just like, I don't know. What do we think? I've got little heels on. I can either do like a cream bag or oh, guys, I got this like, Bottega dupe bag from Olivia Sales. Like, how cute is this? I've got um, gold earrings in, which could be a vibe. Oh, I'm just thinking this actually looks like really classy. Okay. So do I maybe save it for a classy occasion? Because the place that we're going afterwards for drinks like isn't necessary like the classiest place so is this just like a bit wasted on this specific occasion but okay this is option one okay this is what i think i always in my mind thought was going to be the winner don't know if the course it needs to be like outside of the jeans no that just looks weird okay so like this kind of vibe i just think the baby blue with like my hair and the cool tone makeup. And then I was thinking to like make it cute with the leopard print shoes, but I just wish they were a seven. Let me just whack these on. Are my feet like hanging off the edge? Not really, they're, maybe they're actually okay and they just need like a bit of give. But then I was thinking either then, yeah, with like this bag, well actually I got this bag from Mango which I'm kind of obsessed with. Oh gosh. No, I think this is definitely more of the vibe. And I just feel the, like more like sexy in this, but like bags, what do we think? And I wish you could see the leopard print shoes. I, I feel like I'm gonna keep these, okay? Scrap the sevens, put these on love, get them on my feet camera to die and I feel like it's about to. Can you see? Just with like the leopard print vibes. I do have this top as well in white, but I just feel like that's a recipe for disaster. And I feel like I've seen a lot of what other people are wearing and they are going for like white tops and jeans and stuff. So I'm thinking this. Just what bag? I'm thinking this one's a bit more cute. Yeah, I'm, I'm leaning towards this, the jeans, this bag, and the leopard print shoes. The only other shoe that I have that would kind of go are these, but I just feel like they're gonna be too high. But let me know what you think in the comments down below. Let me know which outfit. Everything is li listed and linked. I love you guys, my battery is dead. So have fun this weekend, stay safe. I'm gonna try and do the same. Love ya, bye. <laughs>